Hey. <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, you know, I'm about having the times. I get on this live stuff. I'm still always nervous. That's just me. Um, but I'm not gonna hold y'all long today for real. I ain't lying this time. I ain't doing no two hours and all that. I ain't getting carried away. Um, cause this ain't one of them kind of subjects in the first place. I will not be talking much about myself. So, um, yeah. This is just, um, we talking about sin for real for real we ain't talking about um you know we ain't talking about sin where you, you you go hide and bury yourself in a hole and all that i think some of us indeed that i know trying to be perfect and right you know and i'm trying to finish some of my artwork too it look a mess right now that's how i supposed to look right now but wait till y'all First of all, I got each step. I got a step by step. So what I'm finna be doing while I'm talking to y'all, um, you know, killing time. I'm just gonna be knocking this leaf off, basically. Make y'all see a little bit. Hold on, this camera. I'm still trying to figure out how to, you know, the cameras work backwards. So I'm gonna knock that stuff out. Y'all see how that's turned into a heart now? I got it all covered up. It look a mess right now. Once I get through, you know, knocking all this stuff off, they're going to be some silver hearts in this section. Anyways, in that little part. Show y'all a little bit. Stuff here. But, um, yeah. So, basically, like I'm saying, um, uh, sin. Sin, sin, sin. Like I was saying in the other video, sin is basically um, things that you do to hurt yourself, basically. Um, you know, we say it's against God and all that, which, like I said, you are a child of God, which means you are God in the flesh. You're supposed to represent God. Some of y'all, not, not all of not everybody. So, we ain't even gonna go through all that. <laughs> If you claim yourself to be a child of God and you are introdu introduced to the God that you serve or claim by way of the Bible, then there's these this for y'all. And one day, even if you're not into the Bible right now, you don't know God that way, even if you don't know God by the way of the Bible. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody, God. <laughs> so, but I'm just going to speak for the God in the Bible and my God from the kingdom of heaven. And like they, you know, whatever we ain't even get into all that heavy stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, basically, sin. Sin of your own. How is your sin helping or hurting you when you sin you are sinning against yourself you it's sin it's called sin for a reason um basically you hurting yourself that's anything so say drinking right drinking that's a sin what everybody called a sin anyway but we know everybody drink but everybody don't get drunk everybody don't that should be the way i'm doing her huh? artwork Oh no, she she might be putting on her little headphones, but she in school right now, um, in online school. So, uh, y'all gonna see her back there moving sometimes. But yeah, back to what I'm saying. Uh, sin basically is the thing that hurts you, that slow you down. Back to what I was saying about drinking. Everybody drink, but everybody don't get drunk. Um, everybody don't black out, don't, you know, get drunk till they black out and don't remember what they doing. You know, you get drunk and black out, get sick, throwing up. When you throwing up and all that stuff, you, all that acid is coming up and tearing up your esophagus, messing up your stomach, got your stomach out of whack, all that is tearing your body down. That's a sin because you killing yourself in a way. You hurting your body. Now, if you can drink 
And you know, you not in an altered state of mind. It just how you feeling good. You not feeling easy to where you gonna do some stuff that you wanna do while you was sober. And, and you know, that's another way of seeing anything that that you doing that you wouldn't do in your right mind. You know, that's sin. But we're drinking back to drinking. You know, drinking, like I hear a lot of stories about people blacking out and drinking or they get drunk and they swear they don't know how they ended up with bed, in the bed with this person and that person. And I was a heavy um, Jose Cuevo drinker um, in the past. And I, I, I can't lie to nobody. And I'm pretty sure I have never, I might have forgot some stuff that was said or whatever but i have never blacked out and not and ended up in the bed with somebody that i didn't know stuff like that i don't know stuff like that do happen but i don't know i can't speak for i can't speak on that because that don't happen to me i don't know what that is or what that's about but if alcohol do you like that and you still drinking that's a sin if alcohol alters your state of mind, your state of being, period, to where you doing stuff that you know that's not you, that's a sin, basically. So that's why I said the, the, basically the devil, drinking is a good way to uh, basically point out the ways of sin because what you do, like what they say, what you eat don't make nobody else boo-boo. Right, so what's a sin to you might not be a sin to somebody else. You keeping it real um, might be a sin for you because you keeping it real might be you call yourself, you know, keeping it real and you actually being nasty and hateful and hurtful towards people. That's a sin versus somebody else keeping it real is just being honest. And they ain't doing it to cut nobody down, you know. Like I said, what you eat don't make nobody else boo-boo and vice versa. Sin is sin. Sexual immorality. Now, we're going to touch on that for sin. Um, and baby, like I said, like I be telling y'all, <laughs> I'm the one to talk about sex, baby, because I've been there, done that. Been there, done that, not all that because i did have uh some level of decorum but no sin is greater than the other one so i can't say nobody was worse than me or this that and the third they just might have been introduced to some different kind of stuff well i wouldn't even say introduced because i was introduced to a lot of stuff too some people chose to go through with some stuff sexually that i did not and so that's why I say I cannot knock or condemn nobody else because no sin is greater than the other one, than the other or whatever. But um, sexual immorality, basically, you doing things that don't fit yourself, that don't fit you. You shouldn't nobody be talking you into no threesomes. If somebody had to talk you into it, that was not you. Because people who naturally are into that kind of stuff, you know, they don't have to be talking to it, right? There's something that they do, and there's people out here, and they don't make it wrong or right. I, I don't know. I can't say it don't make it wrong. But it don't make it right for you to do it just because everybody else doing it because you don't have the same mental um, and emotional setup as everybody else, as the people who might be trying to talk you into performing uh different kind of sexual acts like you might not be built like that and you do that and it might take you down you're gonna feel like you the you know worst thing on earth which gonna cause you to um make yourself feel unworthy and it's gonna push you further away from god you're gonna feel like you ain't worth god or god judging you you're gonna beat yourself up before god even do anything to you you know what I'm saying? Just because you did something that you know is out of care so that you embarrassed about or all kind of extra stuff. So which means it's a sin for you. Now, it's other people out here who they just in them for whatever reason. 
But it ain't your place to be trying to be like them or figure it out or see how it feel because it might feel too good. <laughs> and it might not be still not be you. And then there you go. You sitting up there. You done got lost. You a sex addict now. You got to have sex with five people at one time because you not, now you got five different doggone spirits in your energy at the same time. You know, And now you're feeling all kind of that's basically how sexual immorality come about. You're taking on other people's sexual spirits. And so then you, now you're starting to feel like you can do these things too. But really, you just really just trying to fulfill, you, you really feeding that demon that was placed on you when you did the first sexual, sexual immoral thing or you know back when you was molested as a child some of y'all don't even remember being molested but um you know when you molested the person basically transferring a demon on you because it takes a sick person to molest anybody and let alone a child or an innocent a child, an elderly, a dog, or somebody with special needs, disabilities, things like that. You know, people who can't defend themselves. You know, it take a demon, a demonic person to do something like that in the first place. So when they do stuff like that, they basically transfer that demon on you or to whoever they doing it for. I ain't gonna say everybody ain't been molested, thank God. But, you know, when you have, that's, that was a demon being transferred on you right there, so that's why like i said you see a lot of little girls um you know all of a sudden booking and trucking out of both pants legs no matter how old the, the boy or the man is or whatever it was a spirit placed on them so now you got to feed that spirit and a lot of the times we we don't understand that as onlookers but that's why I say you serving the sin. At that point, you serving the sin. You serving that demon inside of you. So um, that's an example of sexually immoral sin or whatever. Let's talk about another sin. Eating can be a sin. Because God don't want nobody to be unhealthy. You're not supposed to be unhealthy. You should. You supposed to be able to fight, get up and run, whatever you gotta do to protect yourself, or just have good, good health. Period. You should be able to do it without restraint. And the food that you eating and taking in, the food that you eating and taking in, if you consciously know, and I say consciously because that's the only way. You sin when you know better, basically. When you know better and you still doing something that you know is harmful to you, you sin it. I had to learn that too. When you eat chicken, you eat some fried chicken that you done made and it, it got all kind of salt and spices and all it up in there. And you know it's making your stomach burn every time you eat it and you still keep eating it. Um... That's a sin. You sit up there hurting your stomach. You put ulcers in the lining of your stomach. You're killing yourself. You're killing yourself. If you get sick and go to the hospital, you ain't serving nobody. No good. Not your children. Nobody. Um, and like I say, this is not to condemn anybody. This is to oh, kind of like help everybody open their eyes a little bit to what we doing to ourselves. And you can't do what everybody else do. Somebody else can eat that same fried chicken and don't gain no weight, don't get sick, don't get the bubble goods, or none of that. Like some of us can drink milk just fine. And then some people can't. They lactose intolerant. If you lactose intolerant, you still eat lactose and you getting sick. You sinning against yourself. Do you kind of now? Do y'all see how sin kind of work? That's what basically what sin is. If it ain't for you and you doing it, you sinning. 
That's basically how sin is. That's the ba that's how it works. And you sin him because you can't help God or be of no service to God if you can't even do the basics that he needs you to do. If God give you a command or demand and you can't perform it because you unhealthy or you got a toy you got a toy with yourself about well god i feel unworthy or what if they tell on me or what are they you know what i'm saying what if somebody come out against me and all that kind of stuff because of the mistakes that you know somebody might expose about you like this what you embarrassed for because for? you knew it was it was embarrassing and it might be wrong right so if anything you do, you feel embarrassed about it, you either um you need to either get over it or you just seen it. Point blank period. That's all to it. You seen it against yourself. Um but most importantly, do not condemn yourself, correct yourself. Don't condemn yourself. Correct yourself. Like, get it together. Get it together. And start watching what other people do. You got to do what's right for you. You got to do what, what you feel for yourself. If it's hurting you, it's a sin. If you're doing it to yourself and it's hurting you, it's basically a sin. And unless you exercise or something like that. Because I know some people, it's a lot of <laughs> See, and I used to be a smart Alec. I am work on my curse words, but I used to be a smart Alec too. I'd probably be one of them people like, well, exercising hurt. My leg muscles be cramping up and all that. Is that sin? Okay, whatever. I ain't going to, but um, yeah. If it's harming you, your health. Your mental health, your spiritual health, your physical health, any of that, it's a sin. And other people might be good at it. They might not be getting sick. You really can't even say that because you can't. You don't know what's a, what a person going through outside of what you can see. You don't know what going on with them when they go home. Like it could be five of y'all getting down in the bed together. And when all five of y'all part ways, it might only be one same person because they might be the damn devil they self. The Satan got children. He got children. It's in the Bible. Jesus said, y'all like y'all father because they didn't believe in him. And if they didn't believe in him, this is in the Bible. This just for Bible talk, okay? Okay, for the non-believers. I'm pretty sure, I hope non-believers ain't even watching because it don't, I mean, this don't float y'all boat. No way I'm speaking to the believers who be condemning themselves for sinning. And when all we got to do is just correct it. God don't hold no eternal grudges um, or none of that. Like, he called us back home. He does not mind calling us back home and getting us together. And I'm pretty sure if you believe in God and you know God and you hear from God and all that, you ain't just hearing it through nobody, no prophets, no pastors, no none of that. If you able to, you know, pray and communicate with God or see signs and wonders, even if you're not somebody that can hear from him, he, um, he will call you back to him. He will call you for correction. So... I'm speaking to the people who on that level, who there right now. I'm so I'm trying to get all this stuff off me. But yeah, I'm speaking to the people who there with me on that level. That's all. I ain't trying to convert nobody because I used to be the same way. I was into all these new age beliefs and stuff like that. So and couldn't nobody tell me different, baby. Couldn't nobody tell me. <laughs> Baby, I was stupid, stupid. I was, I ain't, I'm not calling nobody stupid. I'm just saying, though, like, and where I am today and what I know now at this present moment with the crap that I, I was falling to and believing, I was stupid compared to now. I was flat out stupid. 
All right. See, this is how I look. I know it was looking a mess when y'all first seen it. I'm going to trim this and put diamonds on it. It's not going to... Gotta, I got to seal it. And then this camera quality is not the best. So. But um, this is a custom piece that I'm making. And then I got these two. And I'm making these for and now I gotta knock that stuff off. So do what I'm gonna be doing now. And I ain't gonna do this the whole time. I'm not see see how you can see the words now. Let y'all know I ain't crazy. And I got before and after pictures. See, it's a little more detail now. You know, for the people who like to call me crazy and all that type of stuff. I know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but um Anyway, back to what I was saying for real on a for real tip. Um, like I said, sin. <clears throat> sin is anything that hurts you and you cannot what other people eat cannot will not make you crap. Okay. So you cannot watch other people and be like, well, it's working for them. Is it working for you? And if it ain't working for you, if it's hurting you, let it go. It's not for you. And like I said, Satan has his own. Satan has his own. He is a ruler as well. So he does have servants. And a lot of um us have been serving him without knowing. Because we watching everybody else. And we think because they doing, you know, they doing it. And they getting away with it. That maybe we'll get away with it too. But like I said, if you're a child of God, he already kind of gave you confirmation as to um, that you are his. Already. So this is who I'm talking to. I'm not talking to nobody else. But like I said, I'm not trying to convert nobody. I'm just trying to get you to question yourself. What are the sins in your life and are they serving you? If you drink, how is drinking helping you? How is drinking hurting you? If you gluttonous and you eat a lot, you eat a lot of unhealthy stuff, how is it helping you? How is it hurting you? You know... Um, there are so many ways around this, you know. Okay, for instance, okay, I'm gonna go back to Genesis, Genesis, Genesis with Eve, right? Eve, um, Adam and Eve, they were given everything they needed at that time, right? This now, this is gonna. Me tie this up into today, and I'm pretty sure y'all done heard many other, maybe, I don't know, depending on what kind of church you've been in or whatever, whoever you've been watching. But okay, Adam and Eve had everything that they needed. Everything that they needed. Let's say they had. Mm, hundreds of trees that they could have ate from and especially one good tree right they had all these things they could do they didn't they didn't know oh okay they didn't even know <laughs> nothing about nothing else go up to them what to eat where to go the same way we go to the doctor and the doctor say okay you got you 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 got this you can eat everything except for salt Right. You can eat everything itself with salt. God told them you can have everything. Everything this in here is yours except for this one tree. Do not touch it. Do not eat from it. They was fine with that. You left the doctor. You was fine with that. I can do no salt. Except for us. We already know what salt tastes like. So that's the difference in this, right? We know what salt tastes like. Right, I read it. But anyways, I'm just, this just comparison. We already know what salt tastes like, but whatever the doctor tells us, you know, you'll live a long time if you just cut out salt. 
cut out iodine salt. We'll put it like that. He he might have said you can have Himalayan salt, you can have sea salt, but no no uh no uh table salt, right? And you living, you fine. That works for you. Now you know you eating everything like you supposed to, and all later then all of a sudden this little sneaky thing or this little sneaky person they come and they say. They come and they say, uh, your food so boring. It's working for you, though. Your food been slamming as far as you concerned. Like, it's been slamming. You been looking good, losing weight, everything. You know, getting healthy. You know, got your health restored, everything. And I'm going to eat. They been eating. They been going without then. Here come the serpent. You know, mention it to them. How can y'all have, how is everything in here, y'all, but y'all can't eat from that tree? How your food good, but you can't put salt in it? Like, how you healthy, but you can't eat salt? And now you like, you know, I ain't never thought of that. You ain't need it. But now just because somebody mentioned it, somebody slithered their little way in, and they mentioned the salt, Sugar in the process of getting her braids taken down. <laughs> I see her little hair sticking out. She's taking them down. But um, some little slithering snake come, you know, convince you to eat, you know, salt again. Right? And you do it. And the first time you do it, it take you down. It take you down, you right back in the hospital. And now you praying, oh God, oh God, I'm like, God, please, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Or doctor, in the case. Let's say doctor. You know, let's say the doctor is God. And now you're panicking. You don't, you don't want to go to the hospital. You don't want to go to the doctor. You got to call the doctor. And now you don't want to be straight up with your doctor. You just want to doctor. Well, you know, um... You trying to cancel the doctor appointment and all kind of stuff. And then doctor like, why? You should be healthy. You should be able to come to the doctor. Like, what's going on? And now you got to tell the doctor that you ate salt. And now the doctor got to tell you, well, I told you not to eat the salt for a reason. Because the salt was going to put a hole in your stomach that I can't repair. The salt was going to put a hole in your stomach that I cannot repair. You done already ate this salt. So basically the doctor done told you that there ain't no way he can help you now because you done already ate put the salt in your food and it done told you stomach up. It's the same way it was with Adam and Eve. How y'all know y'all naked all of a sudden when naked was normal, right? Naked being naked was normal until you ate that from that tree of knowledge and you gained the knowledge to know that you know nakedness was being exposed. What would you why you you know why was they being concerned about being naked when it went number them two, right? Like who was gonna see them? Who was gonna see them be naked? If you walking around in your own house naked, it's not a problem. Unless you have knowledge that somebody else is watching or whatever. Somebody else might be dropping by or anything like that. The same thing. Y'all remember that movie um Tyler Perry did Temptations? Like that girl had the love of her life, her her childhood soulmate. And long as they was little country bumpkins, they was fine and in love with each other. She ain't know the difference between nothing. Her, her husband had, you know, little disagreements that come with growing. You know, you start to wonder sometimes. But like I said, they was little country bumpkins. So it ain't mean, you know, it make them no different. They, they really done working things out until... She stepped into the devil's realm, which was 
corp the corporate world and working in offices around millionaires and stuff like that. And that's you know, that's another way the serpent slide in on us with that money. Like money is the root of all evil because money had no importance in the first place. Money is man made, but I ain't even finna get on that. Everything we needed on this earth we was provided for, but you know, you know, sleeping, sleeping outside became beneath us all of a sudden. And, you know, fertilizing the earth with the food that we ate from the earth became beneath us. And, honestly, it started to be too many people anyway, so we kind of needed housing and all that. But walking and riding buses and wagons and using horses became beneath us so now we got these cars and vehicles out here polluting the earth now you see what i'm saying but back to the the move of temptation this i see and work they kind of like the same as that example of adam and eve for real right so they was fine being country bumpkins. They came up in life. The girl wanted more out of life. The you know the little wife or whatever she wanted more out of life. So she start. She got her a good job or whatever, good little corporate job. And then all of a sudden, you know, the snake. The snake, uh, Kim Kardashian. You need to do this and you should do that and you should look like this and you ought to change your fashion and you ought to buy. This to wear and that to wear. And all this kind of stuff. Like the serpent. Like a lot of a lot of us go through that to this day. A lot of folks come around trying to change us. You know, trying to quote unquote upgrade us. But you need to question why they trying to upgrade you. For who? Question what they trying to make you look good for. Or who they trying to make you look good for. Or whatever. And so. Because. The little Kim Kardashian character, she wanted to attract rich, high-value men. And we all, well, I'm going to say we all know. I don't know. I have been a professional homemaker for, well, since, mm, I'd say since I was 18, I started, um, or whatever. And I started cleaning hotels. The first job that I worked at. It was a nice high-end hotel, uh, I, and that's where it's been. So I have been privy to some um, elite men and the way they work. And normally, it's a mess. So, yeah. So so now, you know, she telling her she got to be cute to be around these men, baby. She trying to help them find somebody, not find her, right? Hugging all cute and stuff like that. Okay, boom. Now you look delicious to these men. You're rather not. Now you looking good. You looking like a piece of steak to a to a lion. You know what I'm saying? You looking like a piece of steak to a lion. All kind of stuff. You looking like the most beautiful gazelle to uh the lion king now. And you think he ain't gonna come hawk you down and take you down and take you down and take you down and I mean take you down and devour you. And that's basically what happened to her. That man took her down and devoured her and gave her that pack, we call it. HIV. And that happens to people every day, all the time, just because some slithering snake came and told them they should go out to this party. They should you should do this with us. You should try this drink. You should try this drug. Anything. It's so many ways that the slithering snake can come in. And them slithering snakes, they don't get taken down by all them drugs and stuff like that. But you do. Because you weren't built for that. Your mind wasn't built for that. Your spirit wasn't built for that. I need to work on my stuff while I'm talking to <laughs> So I can go and get it sold and get it on out here. But, uh... You weren't built for that. You ain't on that type of time spiritually or mentally. But there you go. You tried it and it took you out. That's what I'm saying. That's basically 
if you don't understand, if you don't understand sin from that, like the true essence of sin and what it means, it's deeper than just sinning against God and not being able to go to heaven and all that heaven is peace. Um, and you can have it here on earth. The kingdom of heaven is about to rain down on earth anyways. We is not finna die. The world not finna come to an end. The book of Revelation is coming to life. But it's spiritual. Ain't got nothing to do with the world finna come to an end and blow up and all that. And, and catch on fire and all that. I don't know. Even if it do happen, the meek shall inherit the earth. So is you gonna be meek or you gonna be meat? You feel me? You gonna be, <laughs> but for real though, and I'm laughing because I already know somebody watching, so I ain't sitting up here talking to myself, so I can laugh with whoever watching. But yeah, figure it out. What is your sin doing for you or to you? Point blank. Period. Is it helping you or is it hurting you? Why did you start doing that sin in the first place? And then when you kept doing that sin, why did you keep doing it? What was it suppressing? What was it helping? Is it helping you now? Do you need it? If you don't need it, let it go. We always talking about we strong. We okay. You know, if I say you, you, you turned out on alcohol, right? A person can't hand you know what you call what they call it. A person not can't nobody make you hit the bag, right? So if you got that much willpower, you can have the willpower to not hit the cup either. Or not hit the bottle either. It's the same thing. If you got willpower in one place, you can look at it like that. That's how I had to that's really I had to come out of a lot of stuff that I was doing, especially, I don't know, I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> um, somebody had to break a soul type for the, the, the little sexual demon or whatever, you know, they had to be broken, but, you know, I still had to be reminded and I was still tempted, like temptation come at me every day, so the way I feel, if I could turn down, you know, a bag of powder, Molly, X, all that kind of stuff that, that that ain't even in my taste. I can turn down stuff that I don't that I used to do. Because it's not in my taste anymore. That's not me anymore. I ain't booking and trucking out of both pants leg no more. So I can turn a Negro down. Cause I know, and when I know, you know, I know what I'm waiting for. You know what I'm saying? I know who I'm waiting for. So what I'm gonna be playing with all these extra folks that I know don't mean me no good for like it, it, the same thing. I'm telling somebody this for somebody who can't seem to like stop looking for love in all the wrong people and places. Let it go. Let love go. If you believe in love so strongly, nine times out of ten, you believe in true love. And you believe in fairy tales and all that stuff. Stop booking and chirking until your fairy tale on um, mama happen. At least. Now, you know, these dudes ain't offering us no fairy tales. They want to chill. They want to chill. They want to chill in the parking lot. They want to come see you, sit in the car, and then try to push up on you in the car, all type of, or whatever. If, if they get a hotel room. Shit, they spend the money on shit for they sell. Excuse my damn cousin. Excuse me. I'm sorry. But they spend the money on everything else, baby. To get in your pants. Come time you need them, they broke. Baby. And I don't care if they do get you in the car. They not finna give you that $149 hotel room fee and if you say a hundred and forty nine dollars is a lot of money for a hotel room you definitely need to stop booking and trucking because that is not a lot of money it's a lot no it ain't
It is not. Believe me. That's not a lot of money. Like I said, I have worked for high-end hotels and real estate for a long time. Okay? That's not a lot of money. <laughs> $49 is not for a hotel room. is not a lot of money, baby. And most of us, we from the hood, from the project. We had aunties, mamas, all that, baby. All that. Didn't have no job. And none of that. And they came back with cars. They came back with cars, shoes, clothes for the kids, all kind of stuff. What is going on in this society today that we as women feel like we just happen to be booking and trucking with people? I'm telling y'all, now that's a sin. You bucking the truck and ain't serving you. Is your sin serving you? Is your sin helping you? Is your sin hurting you? If you bucking and trucking with me and you still gotta go home crying, talking about how I'm gonna pay my bills or how I'm gonna do this and how I'm gonna do that, you still that's a sin. You sinning against yourself. You got to go to God and ask God to... You could have kept your legs closed if you're going to pray and ask God to provide for you. Like, that's just real talk. If you got to pray and ask for God to provide and make a way for you after you done sinned against Him in your mind, sinned against yourself really, but after you done sinned, you still got to figure out how you finna pay your bills? How you finna do this and that for your kids? And block X, Y, Z. You have sinned against yourself, baby. You can't sin against God. God gonna be there. And God ain't... You know what I'm saying? God gonna be there. God waiting on you. God still gonna provide for you after you sin. He still gonna... You know you know how we used to make them vibes when we get drunk? You know, the room go spinning. You done had a good night. You been drinking. You might have mixed drink. You might have mixed brown with white or any kind of thing. And then you go to lay down that night after a good night. And then the room starts spinning and all that. Now you dizzy and, and the room spinning. And you feel that little throw up in the comb and all that. And you be like, God, please, if you just, if you please, if you please, just please heal me. I ain't going to drink no more. God, God gonna give you the answers in your head. God might be like, you might get the feeling, I say, if you don't know, because a lot of people don't know they be hearing from God. Um, and you get the little feeling to go drink some water. What you doing? What you need? Pencil. A pencil. I'm gonna have one of these boxes. In the pink box. There you go. But, um, yeah. The room with the spinning and all that and God, you know, he is and then, or God told you, you know, you got the feeling to go get you some water. Some vinegar water, I tell everybody. Vinegar water or pickle or whatever, aspirin, all kind of stuff people do to here. But I like to tell people go get some vinegar water or a pimp, a pickle. She got me saying pimple. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I like to tell people to go. See, now it don't look so crazy. Yeah. Now y'all see which where I'm going with this. It ain't all crazy looking no more. Okay. But anyway. <sighs> that part. And God still told you how to get rid of the drunk. The, the whatever. He might even made a way for you to stay home from work the next day so you can heal up. And then you go right back and do it anyways. Knowing you won't, might get sick or whatever. Call yourself trying to do it better the next day. And it's the same thing. That's sin. Especially if it's something that you can't stop. And, it, it, you know, it comes by temptation. More than likely, that's sin. Anything that is out of character for you spiritually, you yourself, not for nobody else, you know. Like I said, which what other people eat don't make you boo boo. Anything that's hurting you and that's not work for you, that's your sin. Work on it. 
work on it if love ain't working for you you keep dating different people and you still can't find the one maybe you sinning you still booking the truck not both pants leg and you still can't find nobody to settle down with maybe you sinning like you just sin is to correct yourself not to condemn yourself don't feel bad that you sinning that whatever those that's behind you we can't go back and redo none of the stuff that we did in the past not even the stuff that we just did a second ago not even this second not even the next second that's from the past you buy we can't go back and redo none of the stuff that we did you supposed to learn from it and keep going learn from it correct it and move on about your business if you do something or say something to somebody and it kind of you know it, you you feel bad about it you feel bad about it if you feel well, i don't know i can't say that some people don't feel nah people feel bad they just don't want to admit it. what you need shoot just trying to do your work what you um it's um, art. You got a whole art box down there. Like, damn, you see your art supply box? What you need? What you trying? What you got to do? Well, yeah, I'm finna help my baby do her art. Uh, her art project for school. Because she not finna let me be in peace. I already know who. <laughs> uh, and help her take her hair down. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I went from the whole y'all for no two hours today. I already been talking long enough for the four to seven minutes. Um, but yeah, this is not to condemn you or to I ain't trying to make you go on the Bible and search and that and all that. This is like common sense, um, for you. Is your sin helping or hurting you? If after you do it, you feel some kind of you know uh, negative feeling about it after you do it more than likely you feel like you sinned against yourself and so all you got to do is repent and forgive yourself and ask God for forgiveness and say I ain't doing it no more or I will do better about that you know, I ain't gonna even say don't you you because you whatever never say never but shoot for to not doing it because like I say anything that you don't want to do no more you look at it like it's something that you would never do in the first place yeah, you'll never hit the bag you'll never hit a crack pipe you feel like you too good for all that kind of stuff. You too good for the things that's hindering you and slowing you down too. So you need to look at uh, everything that you want to defeat like that. If you're trying to figure out how to eat better and you eat unhealthy food, look at that unhealthy food. Like, like a crack pipe or a bag. But for people who don't drink liquor, look at it like a bottle of liquor. I don't know. The list go on. I don't know. If you like me and you don't, you don't eat chitlins, look at that sin as a bowl of chitlins. Cause I can't, no, I can't get with the chitlins. Some people can, <laughs> but I can't. And so, I'm going to look at whatever, anything, whatever. I ain't trying to clown nobody for what they do. I'm just comparing. Because a lot of us say that we too good for certain stuff. A lot of us say we are never drive a minivan and all kind of stuff like this. So, you look at that scene as a minivan that you'll never buy. Y'all be saying them look crazy to me. <laughs> but I'm going to get off here before it turns to an hour. Um, thank you for watching and um, I love y'all. Share if you need to or whatever. If you have anybody in mind who might, who this might help. But like this is not um, for condemnation.
We're not trying to condemn nobody. And um, it's mighty strange how if a person ain't talking about no drama, no stuff like that, they have all the views in the world. But somebody's trying to tell y'all some power to see you. You know, y'all show be quiet. And it's it's kind of, baby, go and see all that. I ain't got nothing to do with it, baby. I don't have nothing to do with it. I said what I had to say. I was obedient to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, to God. Because God told me to do this. Jesus ain't telling me to do it. God, by way of the Holy Spirit, told me to do this. And I did it. I fulfilled my end of the bargain. And I will see y'all another time. Bye. And I, and I'm trying to end this live. <laughs> bye bye.